YNK Tech. Let's look at how to use the dual line grouting injection hand pump and the procedure and method of construction of the K injector in more detail. You are now seeing the crack repair work of a bridge at full swing. The K injector is appropriate for crack repair work of bridges. This method is far more effective and superior than any other existing repair method. In this repair work, the first step is to carefully inspect the cracks under the bridge. Do you see them? There are numerous cracks. Select the cracks that you want to repair and decide on the order of repair work. After selecting the area of work, use the YKE1000 crack sealing resin to seal the crack. Although some workers use different tools, most workers generally use a rubber putty knife to completely cover the crack section. Make sure you work on it so that the connected section does not show. Then seal the rest of the crack except the section where you attach the port, as shown on the video. The YKE1000 crack sealing resin has a mixing ratio of 1 to 1 of resin and hardener. Use the putty knife to mix the white resin and gray hardener thoroughly. Now comes the sealing for attaching the port. Use the putty knife to work only on the K injector port edges. When working, make sure that the hole in the center of the K injector does not get clogged. Then attach the port. Adhere it so that the hole perfectly matches the cracks. Then put enough pressure so that the port hole does not get clogged with the crack sealing resin. Do you see it? The crack sealing resin is coming out through the port edge and enhancing the adherence strength. Now you can see the crack to be grouted through the port hole. After attaching the port, leave it to dry for at least 24 hours at room temperature. Then attach the K-injector capsule to the port and inject the crack injection epoxy. The equipment that you're now looking at is the YK-MHT1000 Dual Line Grouting Injection Hand Pump. This equipment, which was made for grouting with crack injection epoxy, was developed by our company. It is perfect for crack repair work in environments where electricity is not available. There are two steps in the injection process, the first injection and second injection. Injection begins after the equipment's port nozzle section is adjoined with a K-injector. It is injected until the crack injection resin fills the K-injector capsule completely. After being filled, it is moved to another K-injector, and injection process can begin. Injection work is usually carried out by two workers. With this equipment, however, a single worker can handle it. You are now seeing the second injection. This is the non-electric manual type, which comes with an occasionally used function that allows pumping with both hands and feet. Because it is a manual equipment, you can adjust the ratio flexibly according to the density of the resin. However, it generally comes with an automatic mixing unit that adjusts the epoxy mixing ratio to 2 to 1. And you don't have to go through the hassle of manually mixing the liquid resin. The best method for equipment maintenance is to clean it immediately after use. After applying paint thinner or oil in the tank, make sure the liquid resin is completely removed from the hose by pumping it out.